Welcome back everybody to the S key. Today we're gonna listen and react to Andrew Lambrew with his Break a Broken Heart for Cyprus at Eurovision 2023. Uh, but first I want to remind you please to subscribe to the channel to be up to date with all the reactions uh, that I'm gonna publish. Uh, it's time to start. Intro. Okay, I'm ready to start. Headphones on. Okay, let's go. <laughs> wow. Okay. It's building up. Okay, so my first thoughts is that this is very Imagine Dragons like and it's something that it's not very different from uh, a lot of stuff that we heard in Eurovision but that works so uh, it sounds like a good song until now it's just very vocally challenging I like the drums I love this part I don't know why but there's something in the rhythm of the lyrics here na 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 I don't know what but it's very I don't know I like it a lot science fiction turning into an addiction hmm a bit wobbly these lyrics there it's very epic like it's made to be a very epic power ballad I love this part, like the melody here, I love it. I don't know why, but I love it. It's not It's not just a matter of like how strong it is, like vocally, but it's like, it's a good melody. Here it is again. Na, 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 na. I'm hearing a lot of autotune. It's not a bad thing uh, in itself, like, uh, for the studio versions, it's okay, unless it is done to mask some vocal imprecisions, let's say that. So I don't know yet, of course, because I'm not uh, in Liverpool yet, <laughs> and I'm not gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy it from home, but like, you know, I don't know how it's gonna go. I just hope that it's just for, you know, polishing purposes. Okay, I like that he kind of broke uh, the chorus here uh, just a little bit to make it a bit different from what we already heard in the rest of the song. Okay, okay, so I like this. I like this. The only thing that I'm a bit confused about is that uh, I saw him in Australia Decides um when he participated to represent australia uh, at eurovision um and let's say his performance vocally was definitely not the best so i am you know i'm a bit torn because like this is as i already said a very vocally challenging song i i just hope that let's say let's say this i just hope that when he participated in Australia Decides, uh, it was just a mishap, like a, uh, just a problem of like 
audio or like technical difficulties that had him not perform at his best vocally. I hope he's gonna be able to amaze us and just to surprise us with on point vocals because this is is if it's done in a proper way, televoters are gonna eat it up, are gonna be super uh, surprised and amazed, and it's gonna be a, a lot of votes. It's not the most original song ever. Like it's it's a very like safe uh, power ballad, which is not bad at all because if it works, if, if it works, you know, <laughs> you don't have to change much. I can't imagine what kind of staging could go with this because it's a song that can adapt to various stagings, uh, various ideas. It depends on the um, perspective that the stage director and the um, the delegation has but i'm curious i'm curious because he if if he can pull this off this is going to be uh, a qualification and a uh, a good performance so uh i'm hoping for him uh i like this song it's different from what cyprus usually gives us because like they went they did that kind of fuego thing for a while to you know uh place themselves uh, as kind of the powerhouse of dance music uh, in Eurovision. And then, like, last year, it was kind of a dancey song, but it was already um, drifting apart from that kind of song. And this year, they just wanted to change it all uh, because they are craving for a victory. They are the longest uh, non-winning country uh, in Eurovision. This is definitely a step in a different direction. I don't know if it's the right one, but it's definitely, uh, they definitely decided to uh, step out of their comfort zone. It's not super bold as a move, uh, but it's a move. They are showing that they care about doing good in this uh, contest. So kudos. And that's it. That's it. Thank you guys for, for watching me. Don't forget to subscribe. See you at the next reaction. Bye.